Hey, it's Dorlene and welcome to my channel. So I'm doing something that I haven't done in a while. I'm playing in my junk journal. So I'm flipping through it. And if you're interested in looking at more of these pages, I do have multiple flip throughs of the different signatures. Um, just check the junk journal or mixed media playlist. So I found the sheet that I consider unfinished and this is what I'm going to do my two page spread on. So um, we had a interesting December and um, I have all these visitor badges from the hospital. I only kept these two, which I just happened to have in my bag. I was gonna toss them and then I thought, oh, they would be perfect for this junk journal. And also this spread is going to reflect um, the experience there. So um, basically I saw so I, I adhered those labels right on these two unfinished pages and you can see on that left side it's a it's an um, brown paper bag and on the right side is really just like copier paper um, that had already started with some splotches of something or other and um, so right now I'm just putting some white gesso over both sides and that kind of gives me um, like a blank slate I guess and um, I just use a um, you know those little fake credit cards you get in the mail and um, I use those to just scrape um, the gesso right on top of it I'm just using a combination of a regular pencil and also a Stabilo black pencil to draw um, a set of lungs now I made the mistake of hitting I thought I hit record and I didn't and so I did all this yummy stuff with those gelatos and some paint and then I realized I didn't even film it so I really apologize for that but I used an assortment of gelatos and really just you know you can tell that I did blue in the inside of the lungs and then I did some acrylic paint the pink or berry I think I believe it's called and also some yellow stabilos and just kind of rub them in between using my fingers. Here I'm using wipes or a wipe. Um, I've also used a paintbrush just to kind of smudge on some colors. I also used um, some a stamp to um, add those little black dots that you see. And um, that was a stamp set that I actually created myself. It's just kind of like a mark making stamp set. So if you go to my blog and I'll have it listed in the comment, or excuse me, in the information box, I'll have a link to all the products or I'll have a list of all the products I use and also a link to where you can get those stamps. But um, you can just see again, here I'm actually filming, thankfully, and I'm kind of toning down some of that pencil mark because the Stabilo is active with water and it also kind of just um, stays dark. So like a regular pencil, I probably could have covered it with paint, but I could still see a lot of that. So that's why I went back and I used my finger, which is my favorite tool, I always say, and um, try to cover some of those marks. I am using um, a black Sharpie to kind of outline the lungs. Um, again, the lungs represent the reason why we we're at the hospital. I don't want to get into it too much. Um, but basically there was an emergency and had something to do with lungs. Now the hospital is in San Francisco. One of the doctors or the team of doctors, the pul pulmonary doctors had this logo on their um, jackets, their vest, whatever they were wearing. And it was a set of lungs with um, a silhouette of San Francisco. And I thought that was really cool. And I thought I was going to emulate that. So I just went to um, a search on my computer and looked up Silhouette of San Francisco. And I found this one that I really liked. And I fussy cut around it just using some scissors. I wasn't too particular about exact. And I started using the pencil and um, was going to draw around it. And then it just became kind of a pain because really the only real thing on this silhouette, obviously the Golden Gate Bridge, but also the, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a complete blank on that one building that's kind of pointy on top. But um, if I think about it, I'll put it in, in the information box. Um, it'll probably come to me tonight, you know. But anyhow, and the rest were just kind of made up buildings. So I just started with um, a really thin paintbrush and some black acrylic paint. And I just started basically painting some some buildings and some shapes, mostly rectangle shapes, as you can tell. And then you'll see me also using the paintbrush for um, the, the bridge columns and um, 
anyhow so you can see that also another thing I did is on the right side um, I on the bottom of the buildings was a more solid black where on the left side over by where the bridge is I did some kind of like wavy uh, marks so it kind of emulated the look of water again really no rhyme or reason because none of these buildings even probably exist in San Francisco but I think if you look at it you'll know it's San Francisco because I think that's a you know it's a pretty good um, representation of the Golden Gate Bridge um, but anyhow so like I said I pretty much just freehanded it at this point um, but because it wasn't really very detailed it was fine um, so basically on my channel I do at least two videos a week one is always scrapbooking that's my first love and the second is whatever it is I'm doing in the command center and the command center is the name of my blog and also my craft room so for this particular video obviously I'm playing in my junk journal and I'm almost done with this it has six signatures um, 10 pages so really 20 pages each so that's a lot and um, it's really kind of like you know a lot of people say oh junk journals are this one specific thing it's supposed to look like this mine's kind of like a um an art journal and some of them i have pictures in some of them i have you know quotes or or um verses um just whatever i feel like doing and um this one's going to kind of have a combination of everything so i'm definitely junk journaling um i mean uh art journaling here very mixed media lots of different uh, mediums i also add a picture later and also um, a Bible verse. Now, the verse that I chose, um, again, because of the situation that we were in, I did have some family members and longtime friends who were sending me encouraging words and texts and phone calls, but also some verses. Um, and so the one that I chose to put on the lung and on the spread was one of the verses that um, a very dear friend of mine had sent me. So I wanted to include that. Um, the, the thing that's so fun about this junk journal or this art journal within my junk journal is, um, if you've never made a junk journal, it's basically what it is. All those pieces of paper are just, you know, old letters, um, they're bags, they're, they're, um, just random everything. I do have some scrapbooking paper in there as well. Just kind of random stuff, newspapers, um, I'm totally drawing a blank right now. But so, you know, if you mess up or something, you know, it's basically junk. You didn't really invest any money. I mean, even the cover on this thing is a uh, you uh, uh, post office box, you know, one of their express mail um, boxes. And so nothing is so... Um, uh, precious, sorry, I can think of the word, that if I ruined it, I was just going to be like, you know, horrified. Um, but I really like the way this looks. I like the way it's looking so far. I um, love how there's so many different like layers within the the pages. Um, and when I say layers, I mean, you know, because you saw it was plain in the beginning. I put those stickers on there. And then I added layers of just different stamps and different pens and different um, just different mediums. And unfortunately, like I said, you didn't get to see all that, but I promise you it was there. And, um, so right now I, I used a pencil to just kind of guess where I was going to put the letters, um, or the words. Um, I like to mix different types of fonts with my writing and I just use my own handwriting. I don't have a problem with that. And, um, some places I darkened, the letters, some I did in cursive, some just, you know, all caps, some, you know, whatever, right? Add some interest. But um, I do hope you like this. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am going to try to f work in this art journal more because I absolutely love it. I don't know why I don't do it more than I do. And um, I also want to finish all the pages in this journal. I'm almost done. Again, if you're interested in going through all this, I do have flip throughs. So check my playlist. I'd appreciate you watching those. And again, hit that subscribe button and um, come back and, and see it. Now, the one thing I probably have changed multiple times was the 
was basically the bronchial tube, right? I had it pink in the beginning, and I thought, ooh, it was so weird because it looked like flesh. So then I changed it to more like a purple. And then I did have hearts in there at one point. Um, and then I ended up changing it to like squiggle lines because I thought that would emulate a look of like air coming in. Um, so, you know, it is whatever it is, but I totally love this. I, I just hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.